Hi everybody, I'm Karen, and tonight we're going to make Instant Pot Creamy Bruschetta Chicken. Um, my family has had this before and they absolutely love it. Um, and I've already done the marinade and it's been sitting in my refrigerator, so I'm just gonna tell you what's in it real quick and we'll get started. Um, so we have balsamic vinegar, olive oil, um, basil, it says in the recipe to use fresh basil, but I use some dried basil, so you would use a little bit less using the dried basil. Um, sea salt, black pepper, um, minced garlic, and I use a garlic press and use fresh minced garlic. Um, and sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil, but you're gonna drain the olive oil. And then um, you do everything except the sun-dried tomatoes and the basil, whip it all together um, in a bowl, and then add your sun-dried tomatoes and your basil, and then pour it all into a bag with your chicken. Um, this should be three pounds of chicken. I filleted the breast so that they'd be a little bit thinner. And then you put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and let it marinate. And now we're going to put it all in our pot. Make sure you get all your marinade in there too. Because you need to make sure that you still have enough liquid, okay? So as long as you get all your marinade in there, you should be good. Put it all in there, close up your lid, make sure your vent is sealed, and set it to manual high pressure, and you're going to set it to nine minutes. Um, when it's done, you're going to let it natural at least for five minutes, and then you're gonna do a quick release of the rest. Um, and then I will be back and tell you what's next. Okay. We are letting the last of the pressure release. It's already been natural releasing for about five minutes. Um, so it's finishing up right now. One thing I wanna mention real quick is um, when you look at the recipe, you're gonna notice that it doesn't say one whole cup of water or anything like that. There are times that you can make an exception to that um, because we put, probably when you add all the liquids up, Mm, close to three quarters of a cup of liquid, but we were using chicken breasts um, and sun-dried tomatoes, which both have liquid in them. And so once those started cooking, they're releasing juices. And so by the time that happens, all the liquids start to add up. So there was plenty of liquid in here. Um, so, you know, the rule of having one cup of water in here is true but it counts all the liquids all right so our next step is that we are going to change to saute mode wherever it is um and we have close to a half a cup of milk to add and then we are also going to add 12 ounces let me make sure i'm not supposed to do anything else yeah that's right all right and we have 12 ounces of cream cheese. Oh, and this smells fabulous. And you are supposed to, I kind of chunked it up so that it would dissolve, and, you know, melt faster. Um, and I've let it sit out this whole time so that it would kind of um, do that a little bit faster. But you're supposed to kind of stir it, which is hard to do because it's chicken breast. Um, but stir it around until it turns into cream in your pot. And I'm actually going to move the lid to make it a little easier to reach in here. So as soon as that's finished, what you're going to do is you're going to turn your pot off and you're going to eat. Um, you're going to serve it over um, pasta. Penne pasta is a good one. Um, tonight I'm serving it over fettuccine noodles. So um, when this is finished, I'll take a picture and it'll be at the end of the video. Um, post any questions that you have below. I will also post the recipe and links to any of the products that I use and hope you enjoy. Have a good night.